So the first thing that we have to do to get ready for um, utilizing our kernel is doing things like the uh, board kernel base. And you notice that we need to set the base, the page size, the tags offset, and the offset. And it's like, wow, where do we get all this information? Well, if you recall, we saved our uh, output from when we had broke everything down. And uh, this is really, really useful because it shows us a lot of this information here. So the first thing that we see, the kernel address is uh, 0x8000, 8000. And so that means if you have a base of 8, uh, you know, thousand thousand uh, then this uh, this the base is that 0x8 with all those zeros and we see that here because this is the that would be the base right here that's used for all of these different functions the secondary address the tags address all of that is um, comes from the base the base being that um, 0x8 thousand thousand um, so that is uh, pretty handy kernel page size um, let's see here kernel page file size flash page size 2048 and we see that this is 2048 so we know that that's good to go um, kernel tags offset kernel tags offset right in here um, kernel tags address is going to be this uh, 100 here at the end and then we can look at all of our different offsets that we have here. Notice once again we do have the base written down here in case you had any doubt there um, as well. Uh, now there's sometimes a change in the way that you um, set this up as far as you know you can use which numbers like for instance in the partition size you can use this hexadecimal type or you can actually use the actual size and so sometimes that can be a little confusing as well. Um, RAM disk address, notice that it's uh, the 0x8 and then this one, let's see, that'd be 1 million um, right here. And so, let's see, RAM disk offset is going to be this 2. RAM disk address is going to be this 1 million right here. So it should be 1 million. So we can take that. Kernel tags offset. And we see the um, kernel address is 8,000, but the tags address is 100 over here. So 1, and then we do 0, 0. And then if you do have a custom uh, boot image make, you can say the device path make boot image dot make. And we notice in here for our tree, where do we go? There we are. Um, we don't have any kind of custom one in there. So we could just use the use the regular make boot image dot make. That would be fine. Um, we do want to add to the kernel command line. We want to add this Android boot SE Linux um, permissive. Uh, normally you have the entire command line in here. Like if we save this and we open from the moto um, board config right here and you typically just include the entire board kernel command line with this equals you know phrase right here so we're going to do that as well we actually want this make sure we didn't specify it somewhere else first so we cut that and we'll put this below it and we can grab this entire command line right here. So command line, notice everything written right there. So we can copy that. We can put that into our command line right here. So that is really, really useful. 
grab that for us. Now, then you would have this target kernel source and the target kernel config, and we could actually build using the source, or we can um, build with one that's already been built. So let's take a look at how we do that. So I just realized something that I have to fix really quick, and that is um, I was uh, utilizing our old blocks to um, break down that I had, I looked up. We needed the one for what we just did for unpacking the one we just took from the phone uh, that we were using, the Life XL. So uh, I had to jump back in here and uh, look at this boot image breakdown is what I had saved it as and we need to make sure that these numbers match as well. So RAM disk address is still that is 2 million so we'll put in our two, and then the uh, kernel tags address is this eight one e. So we need this one e. And actually, if I just go back here, there we go. That one e. This will be the two. really helps if you use the uh, the right right thing and then we can use this kernel command line just like we saw a minute ago but we'll just say equals board kernel command line equals and instead of this Android SE Linux boot permissive we can take that out and use the one that we copied from here paste that in here and there we go so uh, that will work hopefully a little bit better so let's save that and now now we can work on um, using our kernel so I just grabbed uh, you know from the grouper so you can see but it's target prebuilt kernel and so what we need to do is uh, specify where our kernel is so it's going to be under device it's going to be under blue and it's going to be under the life XL and then we can just name it kernel in our case it's actually Z image right and we'll save that and then we look in our downloaded stuff, in our tools that we had, and we had unmaked it, and we had the C image. We can copy that and put that in our tree right there. So that's one way that you can uh, specify using the Z image uh, and how you can just, uh, or the kernel, if it's called kernel instead of Z image, you could unzip the GZ portion of it, uh, different ways that you can go about doing that, but that's the kernel itself. And so you can utilize that uh, instead of doing target kernel source and target kernel config. Or if you have the source available, I highly recommend you use that instead because that's a much better way to go. Um, but this is this is an alternative if you have a phone that you can't build for because uh, it is missing um, you know some of the, the source code for the kernel which is is against the law but not all manufacturers necessarily follow that international law so that would be how you could use a pre-built uh, kernel